Hi friends, Rob Fernando here from F1 Analytics with your dose of Monday Motivation. Simon Sinek wrote a well-known pair of books called Start With Why and Finding Your Why. The basic idea is that people don't buy into what you do, they buy into why you do it. And by connecting your past experiences and values, you can identify a why statement that captures your greater purpose and inspires people to join you in working towards that purpose. And amazingly, taking the time to think about and explore your why can also give you a nearly bottomless well of motivation for when life's challenges come up. If you don't know who Simon Sinek is, and that's S-I-N-E-K, then I recommend you search for his TED Talk on YouTube called How Great Leaders Inspire Action. I think about finding your why like developing a mission statement for your personal brand. And no, you don't need to be posting dance videos on TikTok to have a personal brand. Just like a corporate leader, your personal brand success lies in having a clearly defined why that can be used in communication and marketing to rally your staff and inspire your community. In that communication, your why is going to be followed by how you approach the work you do to achieve the why. And at the end of your communication, you unveil the what, what product you make or what service you provide that leads your customers to achieving the benefit of your why. At a personal level, if you have a clearly defined why statement, you can follow the same communication process internally to create a never ending source of motivation. Whether it's your work, your hobbies, giving back to your community, or taking care of your family, your why is that source of inspiration to get up, get on board, and take action. If you're thinking, but Rob, I have more than one why, that's fine. You can have multiple whys as long as they are in harmony and don't conflict with each other. So I want you to do something for me. I want you to take 15 minutes sometime in the next 24 hours to think about your why, the purpose and problems that inspire you internally. Then write it down. Craft a clear statement of your why. Then commit that statement to memory and let it motivate you when you need to get focused and stay inspired. For example, one of my why statements is, I help bridge the knowledge gap for non-analysts in an increasingly analytic world. I even made this my profile statement on LinkedIn. When I need a motivational boost, this statement reminds me about why I'm doing this work. It re-energizes and refocuses my efforts in all the right ways. Now, if this all sounds too final or concrete, don't worry, my friend. Your why can change over time. That's just your personal evolution. Pay attention to it, roll with it, and adjust your why as you go. You'll stay focused, fearless, and fired up all by following your why. I hope you all have a great day and a successful week. If you're in the U.S., have a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll talk with you all soon.